Local business owners here on the Greek tourist island of Santorini have expressed their worry and anger at the latest proposals made by the Greek government to try and secure a third aid package from international lenders. The measures, which have received backing from the Greek parliament, include a mix of tax hikes and spending cuts. Why must I pay so much taxes and all that we are living here and working here? Why they don't pay all the rich people? They must pay. I don't know that, but it's the easy way for the government, for all of us. Okay, what we're doing? Okay, we go to 23% and they are paying, but not, it's not the thing. They must uh, have the money from the people that they have the money and not from us. Meanwhile, in Germany, Greece's biggest creditor, analysts are cautious but optimistic regarding a deal on Greece and the opening of negotiations on a third bailout program. I'm very optimistic that we could avoid this because uh, all the other crisis countries, Portugal, Italy, Spain and Ireland, had a very different um, situation and had a different experience from the last five years from the crisis management. They were able to go ahead in restructuring the economy and restructuring the public budgets. So uh, we have a, a different situation than in, the, in spring 2010. There is an isolated problem of Greece and there is a more stable eurozone of the rest, so I'm optimistic that we will be able to manage this problem. Greek banks have been closed since June 29th, when capital controls were imposed and CAF withdrawals rationed after the collapse of previous bailout talks. It is unclear whether all of Greece's creditors will back the latest reforms package, which is strikingly similar to the terms that the Greek people rejected in a referendum which Prime Minister Tsipras called in June.